This is a Dojo Organizer tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the navigation of the website. As you can see, I've just logged in for the first time, and you'll notice that the page is divided into three panels. On the left side of the page, over here, where it says Options, this is our main navigation menu. You'll see different categories and different links here, quick links for the most common tasks that you'll perform, and there's subheadings for members, reports, suppliers, administration and help. All of these expand into panels so you can perform the basic tasks of the system by choosing the links underneath those headings. Whatever you choose will then be displayed in the center section, in this tabbed area. And then on the right side of the page, you'll see the actions and the quick tip boxes. These provide information and certain actions you can perform related to the content that's in the middle of the page. So basically it's a left to right navigation flow. You'll also notice at the top, right next to where it says Dojo Organizer, and the logo here, this is the home button. So if you ever get lost in the system and you need to get back here, just click on this button here and you'll be back here in an instant. You'll notice here is the global search box. And this, when enabled, allows you to search for products, for students, employees, instructors, order history, and things like this. You also notice in certain sections of the website that it's disabled. So you'll see here the tooltip has come up and says that search is not enabled on this page. So obviously on the welcome page there's nothing to search. That's why you can't use it. But on other pages you can enter text in here and then just click the magnifying glass and it'll go ahead and search for you. Now right here is the dojo name. By default when you first log in, it's going to say My Dojo. You can change this in your profile, and I'll show you how to do that in future tutorials. But right now, uh, just realize that's why it says that. You also see at the top, it says Logged In As. And this will be your username. This is me, Jason Stanley. And here's my logout link right here. So that wraps up the basic overview of the navigation and the layout. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to update your profile and add users to the system.